Hello, 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 and welcome. My name is Berserker. You are tuned in live to the Berserkcast Twitch channel. I hope you are having a great Wednesday. Welcome to Arc Arena tonight. We are on Carentan here, town center for this one. Going up for the axis today, representing the blue commander is going to be serious and on the orange side representing the allies today we have from 38th infantry the shuna should be a good match today here if we take a look at the map and zoom in just a little bit we can see a lot of bodies coming to this midpoint this is not normal usually Artie is hammering that backwards position there now one thing to consider there's only one artillery gun allowed in this event so that route is going to be open usually that route is just saturated nobody in their right right mind will really send uh anybody over there but today they will not that many artillery uh opportunities only that one gun so all the axe is going to make it to point fairly easily here Ooh. not gonna gonna drop in there not connect with anything meaningful Initial cap progress coming out for the Axis team here. Allies desperately trying to get on the point with some smoke. It's Valley going to go down on the back side of the point here. You can see source code also going down there. So down pushing out a little circle on circle action. An unusual appearance here. TL the line making an appearance here on Arc Arena tonight. With one squad. Through the smoke, you can see medium tank approaches. This is going to be the DC medium tank right here. They're going to be going up against an HLLPL Panzer IV. If we zoom in, you can see him right there at the backside of point. As the smoke clears, both these tanks are going to get opportunities to engage each other. First round coming out from the Panzer IV, going to ricochet here. American Medium's going to take that as an invitation Two hits in this Medium is going to win this fight here Unless the Panzer IV can make it to cover No, he cannot Down goes the P4 America taking the initial victory here on the midpoint And actually stopping the cap as well Right at the last moment with that takedown, possibly a, a cap saving maneuver right here. Uh, speaking of maneuvers, look at the backside here. This is a big flank coming out. Oh, just a little too late for that pressure. The Axis are actually going to take this one 3-2. That was really close. I thought the Allies might have a chance right there, but as the respawns come in, um, it's just not going to be enough. Now on the backside, down goes the Lux. However... The Axis do have the midpoint. Now, the Allies are in a very good position to, to come back onto this one. However, they don't have the spawns. They do have the tank, just don't have the spawns. And you know what? DC squad on the backside doing a lot of work right here with Ninja Pulver uh, to cut off the access to point and really take control of this midpoint. Now, uh, very brave of the tank to keep pushing in there. Uh, I'm sure Jarvan Hill's just itching, itching to get a satchel off. Jarvin's going to go for it. Oh, he did not make it far. <laughs> not at all. Zooming out a little bit here. You can see how the battle is developing. Artillery finally starting to land in and amongst the soldiers. However, the Axis have done a really nice job as that medium goes down on the left side from state. Axis doing a very good job controlling the point. They have full back control right now. You can see uh, Inferno uh, with en route there with the little satchel team. Satchel team six. Ooh, is Jarvin going to join him too? Triple satchel? That would be nasty. Uh, good control over point right here. We're going to take a look at the map to see the next points for each team. Uh, Town center, of course, in the middle. We have pumping station up on the north side here. It's going to be very interesting. Now, I can hear what sounds like a steward doing battle inside the city. Let us try and 
find out what's going on. Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, Stuart ricochet ricocheting some shots here inside this city. Bronico. No luck with the Panzer Shrek. He seems to have an unlimited supply of rockets. That was at least four rockets fired there. Unfortunately, not connecting with many. Now, as this is all going on on the midpoint, um, when I did check the map to look at the next point pumping station here, I did see an Axis supply truck. So, what plans for the Axis here? Are they going to be going for probably a wide Gary? I'd, I'd assume it's going to be something on the edge of the map over here. Double check and see what he's up to right now. Uh, yeah, so he's going to be a blue zone Gary and maybe a red zone Gary. Ooh, to shoot it. They're serious. Don't go for the red zone Gary right inside the zone. Maybe do a little scouting here first. Just to make sure there's nothing there. So Sirius is going to leave the truck. Doesn't put up anything. Check the map again to see what he's up to. So he's, he's left the truck over here. Does the truck... Oh, maybe this truck is just a rotation from here and there isn't actually any... Um, any supplies that's that makes sense so he's got two Gary's up and he's rotated with the same truck that makes sense rather than him just going to HQ now QQ is the only one up for this right here Sirius is gonna be going for a deep Gary placement right in the backside of sector now this is quite dangerous if we take a look at the map again oh still another one over jeez so deep uh, you know, it was very far back in the sector right here. Uh, luckily though, ooh, luckily or unluckily here, uh, Deshuna, we're going to have a little commander battle on the side of the map right here. Deshuna's going to see Sirius right there in the field. Deshuna hops out. Ooh, gets clipped once or twice right here. This is a proper commander on commander battle. Oh, and Deshuna takes Sirius's helmet off, winning that battle. Sirius is not going to be able to get that back line Gary up that he wanted. He's going to be probably pretty frustrated about that one. Uh, interesting little mini game here of a Commander 1v1. You don't see those too often. I really love to get on board with those for when they do happen. Now, on the north side right here, you can see a 76 pulling up. Uh, it's going to be looking to stop any silliness from happening. Checking the map again. Yeah, you can see there's nothing up here for the axis for the 76 to worry about just yet. Uh, pretty much everything concentrated around town center, maybe bringing up a couple Panthers. Uh, well, a Panther and a Panzer IV at least. There is a little action for the allies on this north side by church. So I think we're going to rotate over there. I don't know what that... 76 is shooting at because there's literally nothing over there from the axis now allies counterattacking on the north side right here you can see on the left side of your screen we have 126 with flex bb azerki adele rue and uh, chartu and jim edward uh doing some work in the back line right there trying to link up here with this main force Ooh, nice satchel going down eliminating a bunch of forces i don't know who satchel that was but a, a, at least a couple of each team went down with it so uh, I guess we'll call that a draw on the church for now. Other than that, though, Madison is the last one standing from the ARC squad. Ballas is going to try to reinforce here, but Madison's the last one up. Alpha squad going to get taken down. Let's see if Winskin can trade that in. Ooh, nice respawn wave coming in right here. Let's go on board with Madison. Unfortunately for Madison there and the rest of the ARC squad, there is a Panther who's not very happy with what's going on over here. Oh, yeah. And that's exactly what I expected to happen there. Cal is going to be the last one up on that one. Arc Squad goes down a second round for good measure there. Soul Raver is going to walk in and clean that one up if there's anything left. I doubt it, though. That was good shooting there from the Circle Panther on the Axis side. So north side getting cleaned up a little bit here by the axis. They still don't have full control. You can see Chicken Waffle, Kebab, Inferno, uh, Drayski on the 
western side which is the allies side of the point we'll see if they can kind of hold this back side here and prevent the allies from pushing in it's gonna be hard though i mean this is you know you're looking at four four v ones four or five v ones up there on the north side we'll see actually we'll, we'll go on board with mr inferno here if there's somebody who could hold off a four or five v one i'm pretty sure it could be inferno honestly really really good shooter for tl honestly one of their best probably was stevens uh stevens is you know an mg guy i don't know about any of the new guys though I, i've heard they picked up some guys too so i have to see uh and ask him after this one but doing a good job holding this getting a little reinforcement from a lux here too can hear that little lux there is gonna make that circle squad keep their heads down here uh it's gonna be spike Woolia, a toby and uh aro bibas i love i don't know if we're gonna see it today uh from the other arc crew but i love the light tank play especially on the allies side from the arc uh tanks i love it all in all very effective artillery going to combine with the lux and the infantry play here it's going to allow the circle with mr sane and tl with kebab to push out we'll see if chicken waffles can clear this position oh chicken's gonna get one there source code goes down he does drop to angel though so trading takedowns back and forth here kebab gonna slow peek the corner Spawn wave comes in with recruits from the circle. Oh, they get absolutely obliterated. That is not a place you want to be right now. Renico coming from the opposite angle here. Down goes the OP, bro. Nico over the top gets one, goes down. A Neo going to trade that one back from red as some reinforcements arrive from the allies. Luck's going to take one back for the blue team. Now Inferno here might have a nice peek. He's up in the building. I wonder if he'll go for a satchel play under this. Now yeah, it's, it's very risky. Right now, probably the play is to just stay up in the building with that Lux rotate. OP. One of the OPs is down. It looks like the circle has got another one there, though, because you can see them spawning in. Mr. Sane's going to come on the backside, clear that out. Oh, my. I'm not too sure if that was a nade. Or if that was an artillery, it didn't look like an artillery shell. Something exploded there and, and cleaned that one out. TL's going to mop it up on the backside there. Start getting some takedowns up to the west also. And just really clean up this point here uh, for the axis. Good job from TL. The circle, the arc um, light tank, and also the artillery on the backside. Really, really good coordination, even though there's only one gun. It's, it's nice to see that coordination rotating a little further north here uh, left of the screen looks like forward positions for TL there Doc McStuff on the left below us we have a Panther and also a DC squad with some interesting names in that one some new names notably Stade and Winston uh, not 100% because this is second hand info but stayed coming over from 82nd ad winston coming over from bwcc i believe defending on the opposite side is uh, of course the one the only muck snapper going with the tag of the two slashes slash slash gary's only fans Reese from the circle. Camille 45 from Ark. Trying to hold down pumping station here against this DC push. Interestingly, there's there's also a 76 involved in this one. So whatever this Panther does here, um, I, I think the 76 might have the advantage, at least for getting the first shot off. Once 
I mean, if the 76 is looking, that's that's the big if, right? If the 76 is looking this way, Ernest, Curdy, and Ribe in the hot seat today. 76 is peaking this way. It will be able to, to, to clock that Panther first and get the first shot. Now, Panther's probably going to be looking the same way too, though. And if I'm the 76 and I, I take a shot, you know, within half a second or less, I'm probably going to back up and try and repair. That is not what they're doing, though. They're going aggressive here with not too much infantry support. 76 has to be careful in this situation. going to look to take the initiative here against the panther now you can see the panther just on the left of your screen we zoom in there both tanks going to be pushing right now unfortunately 76 is going to be spotted out here the panther has all the advantage and actually the panther is going to fall back a little bit and draw that 76 even further old markers I think is what the 76 was peaking. He thought he was in the little alleyway there. That's not where the Panther is. Bombing run gonna drop right here. Looks like a defensive bombing run from the allies. Not gonna do a whole lot in terms of breaking up this ax position. However, off the back of it, I mean, hold the phone, was that? Yeah, that's definitely an allies. They did damage one of their 76s immensely, though. You can see on the right side, uh, some smoke and flames. Off the back of that, not really too much gained at all. You, you can see the arc squad on the right side of your screen tried to maybe take some ground. Uh, it's not, nothing really to take there. DC's in a good position uh, to hold their, their territory. Now, that panther... Has fallen back a little bit. Yeah, it definitely has the intel about the two 76s. What will they do about it, though? Artillery still dropping. Oh. This 76 is coming to play. He's going to be peeking on to the Panther right here. First tank fight. Heavy tank fight of the game, kicking off in style. Ricochet and a miss for the 76. 76 is probably going to want to back up in, in a quick fashion right here. Panther's in a really good spot. Knows it going to pull out right here. Second 76, however, pulls up and is getting side shots onto the first Panther. They go down to AT. Looks like Bronico getting the takedown here. And all of a sudden, both 76 is under huge pressure right now. Panther's going to be pushing forward to try to get this tank down. Misses its first shot. 76 not going to miss on that one. But the 76 will go down. And in the matter of less than a minute, Panther is going to take down 176 infantry is going to take down the other and that is a lot of fuel lost there for the allies not a great situation trying to push tanks into infantry with no friendly infantry cover is not a winning solution in the end now what can the axis do to take advantage of this situation well right now it looks like they're kind of getting surrounded here honestly oh oh no the commander <laughs> the com okay was that just artillery because it sounded like it might have been a uh precision strike from the allies on the wrong target may have just been artillery uh two tanks two panthers here on the attack possibly for the axis now they don't have enough bodies over here to really make that happen uh, they are s somewhat surrounded you can see Pashan flex bb on the back side here Amari's in a very nice spot on the flank of this two tank position. I'm surprised not to see the, the artillery hitting right here. 
Rocket gonna go into the front armor of that second panther. Not really the forces to make an attack happen. I, I would... Something I haven't seen a whole lot of, but I would love to, is to see squad leaders get on the back of the panthers and the panthers just eat in a point. Hit a few buildings on the way in. And then back out and support the infantry close, like support the flanks and see what happens. I think that would be so cool. About 24 minutes into this one, Panthers have a plan. Looks like they're going to try and execute it here. Not a lot of infantry supporting, though. Very dangerous, especially for, you know, for, for Satchel considerations. Even AT getting behind these Panthers could easily render them ineffective. Checking out the map to see what the, the general situation here is. Uh, Sirius on the backside going to be reinforcing with some more garrisons here. Uh, north is still pretty hot here. You can see all front lines are super hot here for the axis i would love to see them use uh, uh, i mean have used that advantage they had of those two 76s when they were down to push immediately with infantry and try to bypass the line of the allies which is really isn't a line right now you can see it's really nothing uh if those two panthers were to just shove with with a couple infantry say you, you get both squads squad leads you get the secondary squad leads of both squads. You load them up on the Vic. You leave like a skeleton crew behind. Load the rest of your infantry up and just push in with the with the two tanks on the point. There's not really much the allies can do um, when the, both those 76s are down. And if we if we look in further, it's like one one forward position uh, until the point. And with with the new changes to allow surfing, I, I'm kind of surprised not to see more more quick plays not so much on the the german side i'd love to see with the panther panther's not that quick but with with the allies side with the the stewart um the the puma and the greyhound not so much because they can get one tapped but the stewart is just the perfect vic for getting in and getting out unintended consequences of, of, of allowing that fun little change i still know Bombing run, still no precision strike onto these Panthers. These Panthers are going to continue to sit here and uh, kind of control this side of the map. Let's see if we can find some other interesting battles going on right here. TL is in a, in a little battle here with the Ark. Arctic Recon Commandos here. Drayski Bronico from the Circle. Going to back him up a little bit. Cardi taking it, taking it slow. Ooh, does not see that one coming. Drayski gonna get a, a two piece. What look like there? Gonna peek the back side of this one too. Oh my God, Drayski finally gets taken out. I was a little worried there. Gonna be on top of that OP though. Winston gonna be marked out. I don't think they're in the same squad, but Mr. Sane's gonna see this one. Cannot drop all three. Only gets one. Uh, Ark gonna stay up for now. However, those respawns gonna be coming in. Bro, Nico, you know he's gonna whip out the Panzer Shrek right here and uh, and take care of business. Or not? He's gonna go for the satchel. He does not have the Panzer Shrek. Gonna have the satchel instead. Madison peeking that backside there. MP40 going to work. Tags Madison a few times. Bronico gonna get out of that one in one piece too. This satchel here, I don't really think is gonna do a whole lot. Honestly, if if Bronico was able to push with Panda to the corner, could have put it in the corner. It probably would have cleared everything out. Much much better satchel placement on the on the situation. Uh, does get one though. And the circle is going to rotate onto this. I don't know if Ark knows about this rotation. I 
and they're going to be knowing about it now that reporting in the field since makes a mistake of walking out in the open there Hannibal not going to second that one Arc with their backs against the wall right here backed into a corner Ronico is going to be coming in oh he gets taken out Ballas desperately trying to fight out of this one. Uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like the, the OP is being rotated into the bush to make it harder to, to spawn, spawn camp this. But even so, very, very difficult spot here for the Ark Squad. Inferno with a really nice spot. We were talking about precision strikes. I just heard one drop to the left of us. I gotta know if those two tanks went down. Um. Oh no. Oh, did we miss? Did we miss both Panthers going down? No, there's one there. Am I blind? Did I not see it on the map? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one there and one there. Okay, so both Panthers are still alive. Whew. Panic was setting in for a second there. Mr. Saint can be pushing in now. I believe the nade spam did take out that OP. I mean, we'll know in a second as he pushes. Yep, OP is done. So now on the midpoint, there is... A little bit of cap progress that was just kissing the the two three percent mark and it has dropped again however as we rotate over to mid you can see source code here angel alex is here sergeant fluff is here chicken waffles defending with all he's got with bronico here Chicken's going to push that building. Now, can he get everyone inside? Oh, he gets Source and Reese on the first floor. Alex is going to rotate. Oh, my gosh. Chicken Waffles clearing house on the north side of point right here. That's going to be a, a, a problem for the allies attacking. Uh, no need for the respawn from the rest of the TL squad, the ARC squad, and the Circle squad. Chicken Waffles has got this one under wraps. Now, yeah, like like I said earlier, the reason we didn't see too much of the uh, the American clans in this one because this one gets started pretty early in the afternoons, so it's hard for 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 teams like Golf TL to usually make it out. So you, you don't see them as much. But it's nice to see them coming out to uh, to Arc Arena. I mean, as it stands right now, the European events during the week are, are just the ones to go to really. Um, there's in, in, it, there's not really that many North American events at the end of the day. There really isn't. So hopefully in the future we can get some more. Uh, big respawn wave going to come in. Bombing run going to... Oh, no. Oh, that is... That is rough. That is a friendly bombing run. They just... Oh, my gosh. They just... Oh no. Oh gosh. I I'm face palming so hard right now. That was a friendly bombing run. They messed up the timing. The commander messed up the timing of the bombing run. <laughs> it took out three quarters of everybody who spawned in on the airhead. Oh no. And Mike Lowry now gonna move off of the airhead right here. Since is over top of it, Mike misses it completely. I, I can't believe my eyes. Now, if Mike doubles back, he might be able to get it. Airhead's still live right here. It's just a matter of, it, is it overrun? Now, it's not going to be any more. Do the allies trust it, though? Because the last two times they've spawned in, they've got nothing but nades.
There's another respawn wave right there. I bet Mike wishes he had uh, spotted that one out. Mike still fighting strong on point right here. Finally going to get taken down. Going for the style play. Um, unfortunately, Shuna is not working out. Doesn't work out. I mean, that happens sometimes too. Uh, cap progress is increasing here on the backside. This is manageable though from the axis position, I believe. And, and with the respawns, we'll see. I, I think we'll see a, a yeah, there it is. Cap progress start to fall on the midpoint. However, on to pumping station. This might be a different story here. You can see Ninja, uh, Chicken Waffles, Yaku, Jackal, Kebab, Winter, Soul Raver, Alpha. A lot of bodies here on this south side chicken. Again. It's going to be the first one into the building. However, no one inside the building for him to take care of right now. He's going to have a leisurely stroll upstairs into one of the windows here to see if he can maybe gatekeep to Chang from getting back in here. Chang being very cautious on the bottom here. Chicken. Oh, he's doing a sneaky move up top. He's going to gatekeep for sure to Chang goes down. Edline, Reese, QQ all coming back in. Chicken's going to Get up in the rafters right there and look to keep up this offensive pressure. He's doing it everywhere, man. Shout out to Chicken Waffles from the line on the defense, on the offense. What's next? Got a few takedowns already. The rest of that TL squad's not having as, as good of a time getting onto point. Edline there, gonna stop. Inferno. I wish. I wish we could be a, removing. Okay, so Reese finally. Or not even Reese. He was on the outside there. Uh, not too sure. Got the takedown. But Chicken's pushed off. However, there's a little opening here for the DC squad to push in and fill that gap. I can hear a tank on the left also. That's going to be a Panther pushing up rather fast onto this one. Now, he has other concerns, of course. Uh, you can see the marker maybe going for, for an infantry garrison before rotating before the 76 on the right. 76 has already taken some damage right here, top or right-hand side. Uh, you know what? He's already down. Uh, there is another panther on our right. Another panther? Is there going to be an AT gun here? I can't quite see. Oh no, oh my gosh. Oh no, this is not not good for the allies. Not only is it a one panther, but there's two more panthers coming up to point on pumping station. 60% uh, cap on the point right now. This is definitely gonna be a cap here. And I, I was surprised to see those shots coming from the south, uh, but there is, there's a, a lot of space to peek onto the north side. That 76 didn't even see it coming. Uh, with three Panthers pushing, I mean, this is this is probably a win condition. I mean, it definitely is a win condition um, for most teams. Now, this is a mixed match, so it might be a little different. They might play it a little slower, but this is going to be a 4-1 and possibly a 5-0 just over the 30-minute mark here. That is not something as commander you want to see. Uh, of a tank, of an enemy team as infantry squad lead. Yeah, those two those two Panthers are just yeeting it to the last point right now. Uh, unlucky medium over here is going to be the next victim uh, of the armor onslaught. Down goes the medium. First Panther not able to get the depression to get that long gun onto target. 
big spawn wave on the north side here from the allies now if the axis can can kind of hold ground here and, and push fast with these panthers i mean the allies might just get caught out there, there is decent bodies back i mean athens has got a squad back there you can see valley uh phallus has another squad so that's three squads right there at the same time there's something oh going down in the back side right here uh that was uh okay so it's just a defensive supply truck or a sorry a transport truck there um detonated to try and create a barrier to stop uh rocket snipes or to stop uh, artillery snipes from uh, across the map with tanks here are the defenders on point of course Three Panthers is, is never something you want to you wanna go up against, but I mean, I don't think these Panthers are going to quick push. I just think it's the mixed match atmosphere we're in right now. Um, they're going to take their time, secure the back line, get the Garys up, and then go for a push in a, in a little bit here. Nothing too, too forced, nothing too quick. Now, however, Pashan. Pashan is in a really sneaky spot right here. Now, does he have a satchel? Doesn't look like it. I don't even think he has any rockets left. Gonna get peeked by Drevsky through that little hole he was peeking through. Both Panthers kind of forming a line right here. Uh, one heading to the south, one kind of holding medium in the middle. Where did that third Panther go? It's going to go to the north side, rotate. One, two. Did he get taken out? Might just have gotten taken out. That would be a... That's a little unfortunate there. If that is the case. They really need to add uh, a tank icon. And do like a custom nameplate uh, for the tanks. I, I don't know if it, if it needs a custom nameplate or just what we already have. This is quite big. Maybe clean it up a little bit with the nameplate. Or, or just have a have a tank icon and, and leave the nameplate for when you zoom in. Seeing the tanks is quite difficult though. It, usually when I when I find a tank, it's it's just based on the sound it makes. A ricocheting of armor, the, the main gun firing, that kind of stuff. HLPL Recon looking to Punish on the back side, Hayes. Or sorry, Hodge. 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 Oh, Fenya. I thought she was going to whip that rocket out and just shoot it at her feet. Uh, Hannibal's kind of like, oh. Okay. Well, there, there's a guy in the field here. Almost like he's playing a game of the floor is lava. He doesn't want to take another step. The slithering German recon in the middle of the field. I like that from the recon. Um, yeah, I, I do and I don't. I, I feel like they're 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 still not on objective right now, but I like the way he just take takes down Fenya and then kind of slithers away to safety. Can hear what sounds like it could be an allied tank in the city right here. I'm going to rotate a little bit and check it out to see if it's real. Oh, that's where the third panther is. Third panther's already in the city supporting the crayon muncher squad with uh, pork and mazo. Athens with a nade going out there. Ooh, is that nade going to connect? It's a smoke nade. It does connect though. Nice placement. If that was a frag, that would have taken both of them out, I think. Panther gonna push up here. 
Gotta be careful though. Don't want to lose one of those Panthers. Uh, nice nade there. Second one is a frag. Now, Panther's kind of in a position here where there's no support at all. And if the Panther is not careful, he's going to get very easily satcheled by this Gary's Only Fan squad. You can see Edline just beelining it. Now, Pashan's on the backside. Going to connect with a rocket. This is really dangerous. Nice long range rocket there from Pashan. All the gunner needs to do right here, though. Oh, no. What did you do, Pashan? He's already redeployed. <laughs> He's like, no, that Panther's mine. I don't care if you're going to plant a satchel. I'm going to take you out. <laughs> I don't know. He probably didn't say that. For dramatic effect, though. I digress. Um, Pork coming down with a full CM squad. And you know what? There might not be an opportunity here for another rocket as the crayon munchers in force rotate, get reinforced on the north side of this little village with Soul Raver squad. Now, as this is happening, a Neo ooh, might get a plant here on the backside. Right as the tank's going by, plant goes down. Spikulia sees this, gets deleted there by, well, it goes both ways. Uh, Arubibasi is going to hop out here, go for the defuse on the satchel. Can he get it in time? Yes. Yes, he can. Good heads up play there by Tobi. And Aro Bibas. As a, as a tank gunner. Well, actually, hold the phone because it's not over yet. Adline's back with another satchel. Um, as a tank gunner, you have to, you know, obviously be cognizant of threats. But be, be able and... and and aware that you can use the textures and the buildings around you to um, take down. You don't need to run out all the time. Like Commander, especially in a, a city like this, really doesn't need to run out if the threat is is spotted. Just needs to shoot the wall or the ground beside him. Now, Edline, you got a friend in me. Hellfire on the backside. Gonna play Guardian Angel Savior for the. Panther now in a 2v1. He's going to lose that 1v1 uh, to Pashan. And you know what? It's back on a Neo. Pashan from the backside here. A Neo already taking shots now. Uh, Crayon Muncher is going to try to help this one. A Neo using that trench shotgun to a devastating effect. Another rocket goes in, and Aro Bibas cannot do anything but watch as his Panther goes down. So good anti tank play here. Not enough infantry cover. Uh, supporting this attack from the Axis, and they're going to lose one of their Panthers for it. Focusing in on the point a little bit more. The infantry push has, has pushed past, and, and it is focusing and challenging 502nd a little bit, about 200 meters away from point. Uh, looking the map right now, though, the, the garrison that kicked this off is hot. Um, the, really not a whole lot of garrison control on the front side right here. They're going to be wanting to get some Garys up um, near 502nd if they can. They still don't have control. You can see they still don't have control in pockets here, and especially up here. Enemy outposts marked out. There's going to be OPs all up these hedgerows right here, especially here. Probably, a, uh, probably something over here, right here. Uh, DC squad is making significant progress onto point right now, right beside point. Uh, it's going to be a little rough. A little rough. Flex is going to try to fight out of this one with Edline and the defensive squad. Winston, actually. 
getting flanked by flex right there nice play from him uh bombing run gonna drop on the north side there Ooh, not a good day to be well a grain a wheat field that bombing run kind of whiffed there i was assuming it was going to go down to the circle that didn't happen though uh that's gonna you know really not do a whole lot kind of an odd bombing run uh, not on the attack, not on the defense, kind of in no man's land here. Doesn't really get anything of strategic value. Mr. Sane, meanwhile, is pushing in here, gets the OP. How many of this arc squad can he get? And you know what? There's no squad leader here, so that OP is not going to be replaced right away. Now, Mr. Sane, if he can wait for Bronico and get Bronico to kind of go first and take the brunt of things, that's not Mr. Sane's style. No, he's going to come around the backside here, gets one, gets two and claims the position for the circle. No waiting for Bronico. He actually does go down though, unfortunately. Retaliatory bombing run gonna drop onto point right here. Soul Raver's gonna take that as his cue to run across the street and try and clear out this building. Doesn't work out for him. Winston gonna join in, stay, and thou who shall not be named. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> I can't say that on stream. Uh, Winston with a little flank here. Let's go on board as he looks to break up this defense a little bit. Just, uh, what's he doing? Is he camping the bush? He's patching a little bit there. I look to push in on the flank right here. Gets Edward. Gets a second. Cow from the left side. Ooh, just on the reload timing there. Gonna go down. However, stayed right on the other side of the wall right here. Panther in very close proximity. Does Del Rue just put a satchel here and hope for the best? That's what he's gonna do. HLPL tank ooh, in a in a little bit of a tank fight also from the north side. Del Rue's satchel not gonna work out as the Panther falls back. I can't quite make out exactly where that piece of armor is for the allies. You can see one of the Panthers goes down there. Axis really running roughshed over uh, this allied team. Nice satchel. Honestly, it gets a few of the axes there. Gives him a little breathing room for a little bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't get the panther. Panther falls back due to the, the, the fight going on with what I assume is a 76 on that north side there. Well, what I assume was a 76 on that north side there. It might be down here uh, due to the anti-tank infantry. Maybe Kel with the satchel. Yeah, 76 was up here. Is no longer. Uh, good job by the anti-tank infantry. And you can see... Almost into the HQ on the north side here. It's going to take them a minute to transition this into meaningful cap progress, of course, because our, our HQ point is in the mid. And it's quite hard to transition through these open fields uh, to getting positioned down on 5 second start. You can see how open they are. The HQ spawns really afford a, a lot of angles for vehicles, for infantry to, to peek through. But, you know, it, it, kind of the writing's on the wall right now for the Allies barring you know some kind of massive play here what can they do they're pulling out a medium right now to try and break up this middle position now if Sirius can get a gary up uh that's gonna be that's gonna be trouble now Pashan on the backside has managed to flank all the way around and ooh, this is a very nice defensive move right here with that medium pushing up the allies have actually got a position behind the axis force right here dc squad does not clock it out how long until Cal goes for that rocket? Well, he's going to save it right now and just collapse on the axis. Grenade's coming out. Nobody's watching the back here. No rear security. While Soul Raver does pull rear and it takes out one, Cal's going to head to ground. Allies for now, though, doing a good job defending. Um, they're going to be putting massive pressure here onto pumping station in, in just a, a few minutes. You can see Greyhounds have a, a full squad there. Red has their full squad there. 126 has their full squad here. The Circle with some presence over here, too. Um, you know, two squad leads is, is enough to take a point. 12, that's the maximum potential, of course, six per squad. That's, comf that's, that's, that's not a super comfortable cap. But it's potential to do a lot of damage, especially if your full cap is, is pushing and pressuring.
Oh no, bad news for the Axis on the attack. They lose a Panther to a Precision Strike right here. You can see it. Norma D1 gonna jump on top of the wreckage and use it for cover. Uh, Soul Raver falling back here with his DC squad. Maybe gonna go try and clear out the back line of that push from the allies with QQ there. Sirius still holding in the mid here with Bronico in the circle. Mr. Sane also. Uh, Flex BB gonna peek out and challenge that. Now, unfortunately, that, that southern group couldn't hold uh, and, and keep the pressure up. Now, with the pressure back onto pumping station, I gotta wonder what the next moves for the, the Axis are gonna be. Now, they they've no one left on point. They're gonna have to pull somebody back. I believe that might have been an airhead going down in the south. Can't quite make out where it landed. Somewhere, somewhere quite far back in the fields there. We'll know in 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 a in a second here what it's going to be. Uh, Panther falling back to defend. Nice play. Um, it's needed right now as a force multiplier on point. Now can it get some lucky shots with that HE and take out anybody on point? Now Valley's pushing up. Did he just? <laughs> he, I think he did. Fenya got put out of her misery there uh, by the commander. It's like we're playing Foxhole or something. Put on that commander's uniform and you can just, you can just delete your own infantry. I mean, I did hear a shot. Now, if there was an airhead, a, a quite underwhelming spawn going to come into it first time. About 40% cap progress coming out. It might be right in that corner. I'm, I'm leaning more towards a garrison than an airhead. Just an OP's there. It looked like the airhead would have been further back over here. That was actually... So we should have checked the map. Because that was... Actually, I think a an Axis... No, there's no way there was an Axis airhead. It must have been supplies and just been a, a visual bug because to me that looked small like an airhead, not long and, and phallus shaped like a uh, Axis supplies. Uh, while that's happening, yeah, the, the real airhead, the real Slim Shady is over here for sure, for sure. Check the map again. I don't see anything but a Gary. Um, so I'm guessing, yeah, that could have been an airhead on the backside. Uh, there's a lot going on. Sometimes I miss things. Um... The main thing right now, though, is the the Axes are losing their fourth point. They don't have control. They are losing the point. And, and they're not looking like they're going to take it back. Cap progress coming out just now here on the fifth. But there is a sea of orange uh, flooding over the walls here of Pumping Station. And we're going to be going back to a 3-2 game uh, with about 30 minutes to go. Let's go. Three, two. The allies come back from what looked like a certain defeat. Uh, not going to happen, though. Now, what can they do? They have the initiative. Uh, do they have an airhead to drop on a town center? Well, no. Lots of respawns coming in. Going to put a stop onto that. Rotation coming out quickly onto the north side with control. You can see Athens, uh, he's, 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 he's the only squad leader in on this. So potential is six. Kebab's already on the flank. Soldad's blocking point right here. Uh, I'd assume Kebab's going to throw down an OP uh, when in a good position and kind of just flank behind this push. Take a look at the map to see. Yeah, everything kind of ruined here. Uh, Panther tucking tail and running back to his lines. There's two Panthers still up with a third coming onto point though.
Soul Raver going up against Zuko on the south side right there. That was a an odd play that caught my eye. Uh, Zuko doesn't stay up for long right here. He goes down. Soul Raver. It's always nice to have a pocket panther. I would love, when in a doubt, pull it a pocket panther. It's it's his panther too. There's no other squad with him. It's just him. He's got it in his pocket. I'm sure Zuku loved that one. Uh, on the north side, there is markers of an axis uh, of an axis marker marking out a 76. 76 is intent on pushing all the way down. Unfortunately for him, the Northern Panther is going to be more than his match. Uh, very aggressive play there from the 76, not working out from at all. The Circle Panther going to get the credit for that one. Do a little repair for their trouble. On the point itself, Ninja Pulver going to be pushing in the backside, looking to take out the point, take out the spawns, get a little cap progress going of his own. Let's hover on top of him here. You know, 1v what? Well, he, he takes down Hannibal on the right. Takes down Fenya. That's two already. He's in a 1vx situation. Let's just say that. Doing pretty well for himself so far. Gets another one on the right. Gets an oh my god, ninja pulver. Let's just let's just chill here with this view and watch the ninja pulver show. <laughs> well, that show that's it for tonight, folks. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. <laughs> that show didn't last too long. I mean, he was on a roll there. Unfortunately, Nade uh, gonna catch up with him on that one. Circle gonna be pushing from the north here. On to pumping station. They do have that panther advantage right now. Might as well use it. Well, ho, ho, oh no, 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 no. I think. Oh, did I just, did I just hear what I think I heard? Oh no. Okay, so the tank's not down. The circle crew's gonna hop out and repair. But. Yaku is on the backside with AT. Why didn't Yaku go first time for the 76? I thought I heard this 76 going down. Now, Yaku on the backside is going to be a problem. You can see the crew of the circle tank. Yaku's actually going to respawn, though. Okay, so Yaku, no more rockets. Does respawn. Where does he respawn, though? Close enough to take out this tank? Probably not. You can see where Ninja is. Alpha Squad going to get one uh, good good OP position here. Quite far enough away uh, from the point here that they can actively fight onto it. They don't lose their position. Medium going to pull up, though. Yaku does not take the AT class here. DC Medium coming out to play. I wonder if anyone else rotated onto that AT. Well, Winters and Jarvin Hill have satchels. Unfortunately, no Panzer Shreks. Ninja's going to get yeeted out of existence by that main gun. Uh, and I think the crew's going to spot this one out and, and get out of the, get out of dodge here. They don't want to deal with multiple satchels chasing them down. Now, I'm going to have to be careful. This is a tough little road here. Drivers. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Jarvin Hill not quite going to be able to catch up with the tank. 
This is just a rough situation all around, though, with the Panthers prowling. I mean, this medium. What is he going to do? Where is he going to go? Sightseeing on Carrington, part two. You can hear a tank shelling. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that, that's what's going to happen. Um, I didn't see. <laughs> I'm sorry for ruining the stream, guys. I didn't see this panther. I was going to try to find him. Um, <laughs> Wakanda in the chat. My gosh. That must be torture for the crew, though. Must be torture. I mean, they, they got so far. They couldn't get there to support their infantry. Uh, immediately taken out by a Panther one tap. Now the allies have done a good job to push back a little bit here. They're putting some pressure on the midpoint, not quite challenging just yet. If we get in closer onto this one, some DC folks. Axis on the back foot here a little bit. Trying to hold off the point. You can see backside pressure coming out from Greyhound's Fen. You're going to take out one. Roy is holding a tight angle right here, though. Then he goes right down. Hard, hard game for the Allies to play out of this one. Now, if they could get one more squad lead on the backside, they could really start to mount some pressure, but just six... Six players is not enough unless they're taking out Gary's and just absolutely dominating. I'd say, you know, two squad leads is the min you want uh, for that potential of 12 players. Quite far off the point, so you can see a Tiandi also rotating with good defensive position. Now, Graham Munchers holding an interesting position right here. I think. A Kabasu is going to see Teandi and rotate onto. So a little 5D chest possibly being played right here from Crayon Munchers. Might even not have seen him now. Uh... They did see him run from this direction. They could have seen him run from this direction. And that could be where the, the OPs and Garys are. Let's check the map really quick to see where we are yet. Yeah. All the way down at the end of the next street is going to be where the Gary is. It's a very common spot for Garrison, of course. Not many buildings have the the space in the back. Not many buildings are open. You can see it's kind of a lot of dead space in the map itself. All, all this space in the middle is more or less dead space that is not accessible by the players but for, for playing for conventional playing uh kind of reasons um less less textures to render in etc cetera, etc cetera. but 
it just kind of leaves common places to, to find spawns. Now, will the recon team be able to spot that out? Are they gonna even gonna go for it? No, they're gonna rotate a little earlier here. Uh, unfortunate for them, that they won't be able to find that spawn now. A little more cap progress on the fourth. Let's rotate back. Ooh, apologies. Let's rotate back over there to see how it is going for the allies and the Axis. Um, interesting bombing run started in the water. Not too sure why that one would start over there. They could have started and ran it a little further if they wanted. Retaliatory bombing run going to drop right away, though. Oh, that ally bombing run is going to have two victims, and they're both going to be allies. Fluff, I don't know how Fluff makes it out of that one. Uh, only one victim of the second bombing run, the defensive bombing run, it is going to be allies. Uh, Panther is very enthusiastically shelling the point. But the axe is on point of the ones taking it. There's actually two panthers. Oh, man. I feel bad. I feel bad for the allies having to deal with two panthers. Three, uh, no, never mind. There's three panthers. I feel, I feel bad. Oh, man. Uh, another... Well, of course, this is an earlier 76, but Nate gun does go down. Pashan and uh magnet trying their best to to do something for these these panthers but it's just it's it's a death ball right now and they're all kind of playing together you know covering each other one mid one south one north and it's, it's just kind of rough here we're going to go back to a 4-1 score of course for the axis they have this lockdown out oh panther on the cell taking shots from at gonna have to watch out does not Want that smoke spike in a hop out. Does not want the engine to go down completely here. Gonna meet Cal. Cal gonna get the better of spike right there. 4 1 is the score. The driver is backing this one up onto. Oh well. He needs to just punch it out of there. Cal's still up. With Skyla on the backside looking for that satchel. Come on now. The cow definitely peaks the wrong hedgerow right there. Camille going to come out. Reese going to come out. It's an old party here. I don't know what the driver... Driver keeps getting stuck on the well. That's what it is, I think. Reese does go down. A little bit of help from the backside now as this is all happening. We have some cap progress on the last point. Oh, this one's over. That's a GG. That's a fat GG right there. Uncontested point. Nobody defending on the last point. Bombing run on the north side there. Going to take out what might have been the last tank here 76 gonna go down uh in the grand scheme of things it's not really gonna matter unless i mean the shun is here airhead bombing run do they have a bombing run i don't think they do no they may have an airhead but what, what do you do like you, you drop some artillery on it like no that's not that's not realistic here the Axe is going to take this one with about 17 minutes to go here. Five nail arc arena on Carantan. GG, well played. Thank you, everyone.